have it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Jaguar XKE Series 1 V12 2 Plus 2. Yes, that is a mouthful, but it is actually one of the most sought after XKEs that you can get. Maybe not the 2 Plus 2, but the V12 and Series 1 is, uh, is definitely something that collectors are out there looking for. And now let me explain why. Think of it this way. The Jaguar E-Type was pretty much what the Kardashian trio of today is. Now, that means that the convertible, which is in my opinion the more beautiful one, is kind of like Courtney. You know, beautiful, it's known by everyone, but it's also not as overhyped as the coupe. The coupe is kind of like the Kim K. Everybody loves it, everybody thinks it's the hottest thing in the world and it's absolutely sleek and it's very mainstream because the coupes are the ones to get. But then you have this one which is the 2 plus 2 and given its relatively bulbous figure and you know, it's less attractiveness to some, I would go ahead and qualify this as the Chloe. That being said, this car is absolutely fantastic to drive. I love it. Um, I really haven't been able to find anything wrong with it besides the fact that the clutch is incredibly heavy, but that's how old cars are. You see, this car has a presence of elegance and it's a sort of timeless design that even Enzo Ferrari himself said that this is one of the most beautiful cars ever designed. Now for a statement like that to come out of Enzo Ferrari's mouth, that means that this car has to be absolutely mesmerizing, and mesmerizing it is. I mean, look at this. Look at all the clusters, every little toggle switch. It's just so satisfying to go ahead and play around with. Even if the car is off, you could have a blast just playing with every single button in this car. It's almost obsessive. The lines of the car are absolutely iconic. They're almost villainous in the way that the car carries itself so classily, but it also looks like a car that a James Bond villain would be speeding in on the side roads of the UK all the way to Scotland. Now, given this is the 2 plus 2, which means that back then this was the car that you would have if you wanted to go on a nice sporty drive with your significant other and two other passengers in the back, but probably those passengers would have to be children or amputees, given the fact that these back seats are pretty much useless. The iconic V12 power plant that came in this car was also extremely linear, super smooth. The steering is light, but direct. You know what you're doing at all times and the car turns in almost immediately, even considering the age of this car. One of the cool engineering feats about this car was the fact that the rear suspension almost had a double suspension setup per side. Now, that means that on the control arms, you wouldn't have just one McPherson strut going down. You actually had two on each side. And then, of course, there's the sound that this thing makes. Now, it's not something extremely visceral, but the sound that this car makes when you start it is just absolutely fantastic. Look at that. It's as smooth as a sewing machine. One of the coolest things and little gimmicks that this car had was the telescopic steering wheel that, in my opinion, is something that even Jack Sparrow would love. When you spin the collar on this steering wheel, you can raise and retract the steering wheel almost as if to give you easier access so your knees can get out and also to make it easier for whoever was driving. The visibility is absolutely fantastic in this car and the drivability is, like I said, something that is extremely classy and only represents Jaguar in the most to the T sense. Well, there you have it folks. Uh, that is the Jaguar E-Type 2 Plus 2 V12 Series 1 car. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I had a great time. This is an awesome car. I really do love it. And quite frankly, uh, its next owner is going to be ecstatic to have something like this in their collection. Um, that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. And we'll keep you posted on the next video. Cheers. Yep, that's those are ducks. Those are ducks. Thank you.